welcome to Fishing Squad. Well, I'm just doing a bit of prep because we're going to go. Well, we've had an onset video when we'll go fishing. We'll go fishing in two days to breed. Um, I know it does have a bit of reputation to produce rays sometimes. All me and Jay have caught and Nick really is the small stuff when we've been there. We've had mackerel, dabs, whiting, a we had a juvenile addict. Um, Martin, who come with us the last time we fished, had a decent bass. So I'm just trying to change things up a bit. I've been thinking about it today. I think we're going to try an up and over rig for rays, hopefully. I'm not sure which wall we're going to fish off yet. We may try the north wall where I believe it's better for rays. I just thought I'd show you what rig we're going to be using now while we've got, you know, while we're inside. It's going to be the up and over rig. As you can see where it goes over there. And cuts into a solo imp there. And um, got some Tronics Pro Walks. Can't remember what uh, design they are exactly. I think they're the Aberdeen style. They're a 3 and I've got a Tronics Pro. 5-0 circle I think that is at the back of it so I'll just show you in a bit more detail I'll just show you that it does work basically it's a three foot up length and a two foot rig body well obviously it will work in water well we've just been messing about with it every time <laughs> every time it's worked every time until now <laughs> <laughs> it's out then when I did it before last time but I'll just show you so obviously that's going to go into bait clip there probably that last to be honest and goes up and over here doesn't it it's probably a bit easier to show you on a rod we'll put it under a bit of tension imagine it's under a bit of tension we'll release that it does all come off it definitely all if it's coming off in your hands like that it's definitely going to come off in practice isn't it in the water so I'll just clip the lead off off this in we've been trying various bait clips these are I think these are perfect for just small hooks um, and little baits I mean I want I want, to, I want to give the trident stuff a bit more of a go, but we're just going to stick with what we know 100% work. So what we've got at the top of this rig, we've got a swivel, a Gemini um, bait clip, one of the tougher ones in brass. And we've got a two foot length of ASO 50 pound line. That's this one, I love this line. And then we've got, swip, we've got on that we've got a pulley bead, sandwiched between two. Other beads. Got a swivel and a three foot length of ASO 30 pound line. So Tronics Pro Circle, I think it's a have a 5 0 or a 4, I think it's a 5 0. And then a 3 0 Tronics Pro Aberdeen style, you know, fine wire, a bit stronger than like standard Aberdeen, I think they are. So that's what we're going to be fishing with. We're fishing with squid and fish baits. That's the, the standard line that we're using for the up length. And these swivels, the standard. We've got the swivels from uh, our local, and we've got the hooks actually from the, we've got the Aberdeen hooks, the swivels, from uh, our local tackle shop in Doncaster, um, tackle and bait. I'll just give them a bit of a shout out, I'm going to mention them a lot. I know it can get a bit like boring on some channels where they're just growing on, growing on promoting people. I'm just going to mention because I'm a local tackle shop, we've been buying a lot of stuff off them like over the last sort of two years. 18 months to two years, I think they've been open for two years, and they are like they've got a good stock, so just quicker than buying it online. And the sounding store as well, aren't they? Yeah, the sounding store. We're not going to be like trying to drone on about about tackle shops and stuff, but well, they, were, they are going to get a big mention on my channel because I'm a local tackle shop. We're in land, not many shops in land stock sea fishing gear, so we may at some point show you a shop. If uh, the owner, I'm sure he'll allow it, so we're just going to give him a big mention and he's going to give it, probably possibly give us a bit of discount, so it works both ways, won't it? But obviously, you want to support your local tackle shops and all that. So, yeah, plus, it'd be nice just to say that if we catch anything half decent, not necessarily at bridge, we could do potentially. We've only ever caught small stuff. But when we take some of this gear to North Wales, It'd be nice to put their name at the side of some of the fish we catch with stuff we bought from our local tackle shop, I think. My tell. Jay's tell. And his dreams, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's just one of them things, isn't it? I know there's a big... You know, I don't want to be going, oh, <clears throat> quoting things all the time, but we are going to give a mention, and we will put in, in video intro already. it would have probably been a copy of that card. And maybe on Instagram and stuff like that, we'll probably put that card at the side of the official and take a picture of it and all that type of stuff. It'll just go on and you know, just give them a bit of a promotion. They're a good set of lads, they're a good shot. We've got faith in what, what we're buying off them, we've got confidence in it, so we're happy.
Right, we arrived, we're at Bridge, we're on off wall. I'm just going to bait up, I'm just going to show you what I do with my bait. I've got a strip of squid, a bit of mackerel from Morrison's. I bought some this morning. I'm just going to put them together like that, fishing with a 3 um up and over rig, pennel style. I've got a wire here because I haven't got a baiting needle, I'm using an old grip wire. So I'll just skewer it on once. So it's like that. Get my bait elastic, then I whip it up. So obviously we're using them rigs that you saw at the start of the video. You may have noticed fish lock was playing in the background because we was one of his videos just to make sure I got the dimensions right of the up and over rigs. They're not a rig that I've used very much of and I wanted just to make sure that they're guaranteed for everything to obviously work properly. So we've gone for a three foot rig body like I say and a two foot snood I think. Is that right? So the other way around I want it two foot rig body, three foot snood. So I'll just rip, whip that up so I've got that. So it's just a squid and mackerel wrap. Looks delicious, doesn't it? So I'll get my hooks. You can find them. So I've got 3-0. It's a Tronics Pro hook. They're like an Aberdeen style. So I'm just going to skewer that in my bait like that once. So and it's like that. Fantastic bird, isn't it? Sorry? I've got a fantastic bird, isn't it? Uh, oh, he's just a bit all round his spread. It's a bit spool. He's smelling the right mess of it. <laughs> anyway, see you again, man. Cheers, mate. Thank you. See ya. Yeah, so you whip this onto your hook. Right, yeah. you. Where the curve is on your J hook. You want it just sitting out nice and proud. I always like to use loads of bait, bait elastic, it does improve your presentation of bait. Somewhat tenfold, I'd say. So that's that one. I'll get the second hook down now. Look at that first time. Yeah, Jay's got a nice bait on. Um, he's got the same bait on as me, so I'm just bringing my circle up down my snood now. So wrap it around one. Two, three, four. Go back in. Out. Pull the slack out of it. Then we end up with something like that. Quite happy with that. I'm going to clip it up, clip it down, I mean, sort of up and over rig out. And then get cast out and have a look round. Just give me a sec. So that's my two rods. I've got one up left with big big bait on, and one up right just a carp rod with a flapper rig. I'll show you a flapper rig. We made him the other night, I didn't put him on camera. It was a simple tool flapper rig. I've crimped the swivel with two, two beads. Some bling on. And that's it, three ounce lead. That's it, simple as that. Yeah. See what happens. She's coming in. I think it's three o'clock now. High tide's at half seven, so fingers crossed. That's the flam red that's stuck left of us. See what happens. Oh, well, that's a bite, isn't it? Definitely. Yes. You want to just uh, hold that chair for a minute? Because that's, that's, that's half decent. Ah. Oh, before, before it. That might be, yeah, hold that. That's somewhat half decent. Yeah, that might be a bust that. It's got some bloody hell. It's got a bit of kick to it. Oh, it's a line. I've got the line. Just had one fish then so far. We're getting, we're getting. A, I don't know if that's a bite or not. We had a few, we had a few judders. Um, obviously, with lighter rig on cart rod, it's 
be a bit false sometimes with conditions. We've got a 20 mile an hour, but it's going to pick up to 20 mile an hour southwesterly on our backs. It's not very comfortable at the moment. It's going to be a cold one. We knew that soon as we got out of the car. Um, so, yeah, it's Jake's got the car and Mr. Warm himself up. Um, catch something worthwhile, I might have a car. I've got, I've got two, I've got a can with me. Sometimes bring, if we do one long session, I like to just bring one can. I'm, I'm driver, so. Can't really, I wouldn't really want to risk it anymore. Can't be honest. One can of the relaxers. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 why when it gets dark, it's gonna be that cold. It's definitely not beer drinking weather. So I'm just getting a bite on my bigger bait then. Just juddered a little bit. Come back on touch the bigger baits. The small baits we had a few judders on. We've just rebaited rods. Um, I didn't end up connecting with someone else's line. That wore that bike where it start. Unfortunately. I thought, I thought I'd hooked a bass or something. Let's <laughs> see how we get on. I mean, we've got a dab. Obviously, obviously hoping to get some numbers. Seeing the white and the flat fish caught so far. Fingers crossed. Right, we changed walls. I'm just getting absolutely battered by the wind on that north wall. I just try to correct myself. It's blowing a southeast wind. Um, so we do get a bit of shelter on here. It's got a building at the end there. It's sort of blowing down the pier. A harbour wall. Well, the other coast harbour wall or two. So I'm not talking too loud because a few people are there. I just had a bite, I think, on my cart rod then, I just little bite. We didn't catch anything else on the other wall. The wind picked up. Some brave fishermen on the end of it. Just sticking it out, fair enough. We've neshed it, basically. Look at that, Jay, we've neshed it, son, haven't we? Uh -huh. net, we've neshed it. Look at that for a nice bait. I'm just going to whack that out now. Getting on video, whacking it out. Come out, clip again, didn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, not much is happening. I mean, on the end of the pier, on the other wall where we started off, there were a couple of whiting that a couple of lads caught, and a couple of flatties. We only had a flatty between us, but. Like I say, I think we just neshed it. It was absolutely so exposed. Um, and we know we can catch fish off this side, allegedly. But so far, it's all come back on touch. I'm going to tackle this other rod up, this spinning rod, I think, just to get us, see if we can get any more fish out. Um, what am I going to say? Yeah, it's just it's been quiet. I mean, we're not, I'm not too concerned that we're not catching a lot of fish at the moment. Um, what time we're at now? Let's check. It's gone six, so we've got about an hour or so to high tide. It's a big tide as well. Um, yeah, we've got an hour to low tide, high tide. Uh, so we'll just see what happens. We're probably going to give it an hour after high. If we haven't caught anything else, that'll be us done. Cause it's tough, been tough, tough conditions so far. But we'll, you know, we'll give it, we'll give it the like from now to an hour after. I think that'll be the maximum chance of getting anything off here. I mean, like I say, I'm not too concerned we've caught anything diddly. We only caught a flat fish. We're not getting played with diddly bites. The bait's coming back on touch. It's not obviously, it's not obviously sound good, but what we've had here, out of here before, it's never really happened like that, as it? We've always caught little fish. So hopefully, maybe something might be changing. Them. Maybe a ray or a dogfish or bass or cod or whatever might be lurking about. See, we're, we're on this section up here where the street light don't work, so we're in, I want to use head torch. Yeah, my idea to fish here. So, we're gonna get this little rod tackled up, Let's see if we can get some down. I mean, lovely skyline there just above Bridlington, it's really nice. So, we'll see what happens. Like I say, it might be a disappointing session, but things can change very quickly with fishing. You know. We'll see. 
card off, just put a simple over in a ledger again, put a, a grip lead into a snap clip, snap support, bead, swivel, length of ASO 30 pound, single three out, and put a squid on. Well, try to make it all like a full squid. Had it on baiting needle, last time we last time I slid it down low. I'm gonna cast it, I'm gonna cast it in close, so then we've got to clip it up or clip it down or whatever. See if we can get a bass or something. We're gonna fish about 10 yards. Let's see what happens. Put her at real on run. And hope something turns off. Like a fish of the night, a whiting. Um, on top of quick flapper, it's co coughing up little sprats. It's not a bad whiting, nice little fish. It's a welcome fish, really, at the minute. Let's hope we can get some more. Now, I beefed my bait up, it seems to have made a difference on flapper rig, so I'm see, see not going to get too excited about it, but at least we've got one out. He's finally left at Mark's caught a lovely whiting, nice looked on back circle up, up and over rig, that's the first one, we've, first uh, fish we've ever caught an up and over rig on uh, fishing squad, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, it took quite a nice bait as well, so get in. Just being off at Mark more than out, innit Jay? You know what I mean now, we've been here long enough. So, yeah. I'll uh, I'll get a picture of him, Jay, with my phone as well. Alright. Just caught another dab. Only a tiny one again. Fish is a fish though, innit? That's the thing. So, we're not giving it much longer anyway now. Let's see what happens like the last half hour. So, I've just put two big baits out on uh, like our big bait rods. See there, really big uh, squid and mackerel wraps, or squid and scad wraps, should I say? I better get this fish back actually. <laughs> let's, let's give it a minute. Yeah, we're not giving it much longer. Um, at least we both haven't blanked. I mean, it's been a tough night, you know. If I were to get an excuse, in, I've, had, I've got a really stiff neck. I woke up this morning with a really stiff neck, and it really has affected my casting. Yeah. We can't, can't go anywhere without firing a few excuses in, but we haven't caught anything different to what we normally catch when we're here. You know, we were hoping that maybe a ray would turn up. I'm sure once at a time we could fish here, we'll, we'll hit a ray or two, you know. But we're still working it out. We've fished here a lot, and we've never blanked, but it is what it is. I mean, we're fishing here, you know, when you're fishing on an arbor like this, you don't really need any high tech gear as such. I think the camera's gone a bit blurry. Just give me a second. I don't know if it's a lens. You don't really need any high tech gear. I've got We've both got an old beach caster carp rod, I've just got a mackerel spinning rod as well, just dropped down the side. I fished here with my, you know, my setup that I used for tote fishing. It doesn't make a difference to anything. I just feel more confident, don't you, when you're fishing with, you know, your best gear. But like I say, it doesn't make a difference on here. I'm a beach caster. I use it, uh, the reach pack casts I've got here, they're like my donor rods, I call them, because I just, I take bits off them. For, for the other rods that I've got, but like I say, all my gear's stored in North Wales when I go back at Easter. But they said I've, I've used half a real seat off this one, I've had to use a Jubilee clip to just secure the reel. It's basically a coast, substitute version of a coaster, you know. Um, and I've got a rod over here that I part, did a part rebuild on, sort of thing. It's caught Bullus this rod, but it's not really a bit messy, it's just an old rod. Start to try and do a rebuild on it and sex it off basically. But all the rings I put on, and you can see it's a bit of a rough, rough finish. The actual finish of the um, whipping that I put on it too bad. It's just the condition of what the rod underneath, you know, it's had some right hammer. And we've got another carp rod over here. But you know, the standard fixable reels, 18 pound line shock leader. Um, yeah. I mean, what we put, what, what rigs we're putting down on the seabed, as you've seen, are quality. We tied them all ourselves. It was nice to see a fish caught on the up and over rigs, you know, because we put a bit of effort in the other night when we were tying them. Um, and it was nice, the, the, the biggest fish, fish at session Jay's caught on one of the up and over rigs. It's nice to see a fish on a circle look as well. So. I mean, you've seen in some of my videos, I've tied like basic flapper rigs with loops. And them rigs are not, they're not by any means like a go-to rig of mine as such. They're a rig that I'd use if I were just knocking one. You know now if I don't have any flapper rigs in my box, I'd get a length of line, tie three loops in it, cut, cut them, and that'd be a th th three rig. I'd just leave the loops as they are and run a suit off them with, with a different grade of line. But they aren't, they're okay as a quick, a quick means to fish, you know, or just for a beginner's rig if you like. Um, 
I prefer to use the 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 way of doing it with the crimps where you, you trap your swivel with the two beads because what you tend to find is it doesn't tangle up as much and it just seems to I think it hangs better in the water personally it presents your bait better but don't diss them uh, loop rigs either they're probably not quite as good if I'm being honest but they are simple and they do catch fish you know when you're ass fishing one of them just a loop a loop as a snood it's perfect but yeah so I'd, I'd mentioned that because obviously last year I did do a bit about novices guy to, to sea fishing um, if I'm being truthful I don't think it was I don't think the video footage was as good as what I'd like it to have been in terms of the fishing it was, it was but like the rig sign and stuff like that wasn't so we might do I mean I don't I don't even know if it's worth putting videos out there of rig tying because there's that many out there on YouTube I'd rather just show you the rig that we've tied and then I'm sure there's probably more people that have got more expertise with time rigs that put better videos out there for that type of thing. So yeah, so that light there, the one there, that's the end of the other wall that we're on. There's a joint, there's a gap here. We've got the tip there where that light is there, and there's a gap here where the boats come in. You can't really see because all the lights, but they come in round here, around the back of this building, and into the main harbour here. So yeah, the wind's blowing down this way, but we're getting some shelter from the the, the, sea, the seafood building here, sort of thing. But it's a really big tide, so we're, we're, we've just gone past the high tide now. That half hour spell before high tide. Oh, Jay had a crab as well. We had two fish, three fish and a crab. So that, that, that just shows you, doesn't it, what, what, what time of tide to fish. And my method is, I always like to keep an eye on what everybody else does when I'm fishing somewhere. We've fished here before, obviously, but it's interesting. You know, people are still fishing here, they're probably more local to the area. And if they're still here, it's probably, it's probably worth sticking it out. But, one thing I'll say, there's now nobody else fishing on this wall. The one guy here when we got here, he's gone. So sometimes you're best off doing what everybody, I always say, do what everybody else does. So we're packing up in half an hour. <laughs> But it was really brutal on that wall to start with. It'd be a nice, lovely spot, wouldn't it, Jay? If it were a bit calmer, yeah. you know, the wind, it was just horrendous. You know, we don't really have, I haven't really got any proper winter attire. I used to have a flotation suit, but I got a bit too big for it. Um, and it's, we've just got hoodies and coats on. You know, they're, they're all weather coats type thing. Hopefully, we'll get another fish out before we go. And, uh, some jerk jerks there's quite a lot because we've got the, the winds coming down the pier this way the tides are running that way it's it's pushed in we're getting a few breakers that are coming across and just catching the line because the line's like across the luckily there's no weed in the water but well very little weed in the water which is quite a good thing so yeah just talk about baits i did buy some fresh mackerel from morrison's and i bought some squid now oh, i don't know if you can see what's left of the squid but that's the head the rest of it. it was some size squid it was like about 16 inches long it was, it was like, it's like rubber good old-fashioned squid that is I used to get that off the fish fish market back in day eh? and it was really good for congas in North Wales so, just got a boat coming in behind us so I'll probably do close down to video unless we catch something else in car on the way back Hopefully the heat is on full blow. I mean, wind chill must be, it must be close to the lowest here. Mm. So, I mean, I'm shivering now. It's took me a while. Jay's been shivering since we got here, but now I'm shivering, it's time to go. Oh, I see. <laughs> it, Jay? I've got like a woman in here. <laughs> the daily has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very cold, man. Boat coming in now, so yeah, I'll do close down some video in car.
back in the car. Um, heater's on full whack. It's bloody freezing. Um, starting to defrost a bit as hot air's coming through. I can't believe that five degrees. That's just five degrees there on <laughs> real, real, real feel. feel yeah. I mean, look, it was a tough session. Um, at, least we, at least we both caught, we haven't wiped. That's all there's to say. Um, Jay had the biggest fish of the day. He had two crabs as well. Well done, well done to Jay. The crab master. <laughs> <laughs> crab master, crab catcher supreme. Missed. Water crabs that is. So, you know it's cold because when you're fishing with Jay, he hardly drinks any beer. <laughs> and I was, I was mentioning at the start of the video, um, like I said I sometimes like to take a can with me and I do have an odd can sometimes. Um, it was too cold to do that even tonight. I drank a full flask of tea instead. And, uh, that's it, so we're going to probably drive back, call up McDonald's that way. And just be thankful for some hot air basically, <laughs> really appreciate the heating. <laughs> But other than that, it's only yeah. <laughs> we've, had a, we've, had, we've tried to have a laugh and stuff while we've been about out, but once, it, once that cold gets you, you don't really warm up, do you? And you've got to, you feel like you need to stick it out because we've come this, like, it's not that far, it's about 60 miles, 65 miles or something from Doncaster. Um, you just feel like you have to give it a go once you're here. Prepping yeah, we've got prepping mechanic rigs. I mean, we're going to try them in North Wales on the beaches in North Wales and up and over rigs. I think. Yeah, they're going to work. They are going to work. So, looking forward to that. Looking forward to warmer days. I mean, we're not too far away from spring, guys, are we? So, let's have it. Right. Other than that, as always, keep safe, tight lines, have a good one, and we'll definitely see you very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you.